Big news. The Peugeot 508 is still here. No, really, you'd be forgiven for imagining it had been pensioned off along with former rivals like the Ford Mondeo, Vauxhall Insignia, and Renault Laguna. But it's still very much alive and kicking, against the odds. It's like the Keith Richards of the family car sector. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than to be fair, the 508 is arguably a little easier on the eye than Keith. And it just got a little more so, thanks to a mid-life makeover that's given it a cleaner look at the front end, as well as several other tweaks elsewhere. But, with relatively few of its traditional rivals left, one has to ask. What's the point? Why would you choose a 508 instead of, well, anything else, really? And in the age of the SUV, is there still a case to be made for a car like this? We took a drive, to see if we could find the answers to all these questions, and to find out whether the 508 is still worth a look but first we must work out what the 508 actually is. While, traditionally, we think of big Pugos like this as family cars in the vein of those aforementioned rivals, the 508 is sleeker, more rakish, lower of roofline and steeper of windscreen. Really, then, what we're looking at here is now more of a four-door coupe, something akin to a Volkswagen Ardeon.